Thanks for tuning in. This is Sweet Cyclist. Today we're going to be looking at the Laser Urbanized MIPS Cycling Helmet. So here we have Laser's latest helmet. This is their Urbanized MIPS Helmet. And this is designed to be a e-bike or commuter helmet. What's really cool about this is it has a certification for higher speeds that are typically associated with e-bikes. It also has a lot of additional cool features that I like to go over. Uh, box wise, super simple, high contrast colors, uh, laser logo really printed on here nicely. They come in a uh, small, medium, large. This is a medium size. We'll go ahead and take out the box and we'll do that. We'll go over the specs. The retail price on this is $150. And for that price, you get a lot of features. So this is a MIPS enabled helmet. So you get the additional security if you have an uh, impact. You also get a magnetic lens, which is a really cool feature. It's a panoramic magnetic lens that actually just uh, pops in on the front. You get their full winter kit, which is also really cool. So if you're in a colder climate or commuting on early mornings or late nights, you get these little ear covers that protect your ears from the weather. You also get a additional little blocking a wind blocker here that covers one of the vents. It has an integrated rear taillight as well that's USB rechargeable. And you can also pop this out and use that spot as a locking position. So another cool feature, you get a magnetic uh, strap here as well for easy uh, to easily put it on and take it off. So here are the contents of what you get in the box. You get the helmet with the integrated taillight. You get a micro USB charging cable to charge that taillight. You get the magnetic clear panoramic lens for the front of the helmet. You get the winter kit, which includes two ear covers, as well as a little foam uh, vent blocker, as well as these Velcro stickers to attach the uh, ear covers. Now let's take a look at the weight of this helmet. Being a commuter helmet, this is not gonna be a super light uh, racing style helmet. This is the medium size, and on my scale, with the taillight installed, it comes out to 418 grams. The uh, magnetic panoramic lens comes in at 58 grams by itself. And then the winter kit, which includes the two ear covers and the little foam uh, uh, vent blocker that comes in at 32 grams. So now let's go over the fin finish of the laser urbanized MIPS helmet. I think it's a really cool helmet, especially with the MIPS technology on the inside. You have the safety of a more uh, advanced helmet with a lot of commuter benefits. So starting from the outside, this is a matte black finish. Uh, the finish feels pretty nice. You can see it extends all the way down with these plastic coverings. So you don't see the exposed uh, foam underneath. On the inside, you have that really big MIPS liner. And it's interesting to see it here. Without the vent uh, cutouts, it looks like a large single piece. And this will actually rotate and absorb some of that rotational inertia if you have an accident. The brackets here look pretty cool. So it's a magnetic buckle, uh, similar to like the Bontrager uh, Spectre that we reviewed here. So you see, simply get it close and they'll slide in. Now I found that removing these is a little bit awkward. You're typically uh, with a buckle, you press down and pull. Uh, with this, that uh, motion is actually flipped. You actually have to pull away from each other. It looks like it uh, has a leather strap, but it feels like a fake leather but it has this cool leather style texture to it on the side strap. You also have what looks like metal uh, strap holders, but are likely just plastic. The straps themselves feel fairly soft and easy to use though. You also have all the adjustability you need with their uh, retention system here. So dual direction micro adjustments. You can also pull this down or up at this uh, location here, uh, depending on your head. So enough adjustment to really dial in the fit. You also have really nice plush uh, pads on the inside. So these are much nicer. On cheaper helmets, they're typically really soft and don't do much. But here, they're quite soft. And you can see it wraps around your forehead all the way up and around. The other cool thing about this is that magnetic lens. I think it's a little bit controversial. You'll look like you're a race car driver with this on. Uh, you can also store it in a uh, disabled position. So if you don't need it, they also, they also have the magnets on the back side. So this is really cool. So you can store it in this uh, upward position. Now this is not quite as effective as say a 
normal sunglasses since it's a little bit further away from your head, but it will deflect a lot of the flow from your face. So especially if you're in colder climates or simply don't want to wear sunglasses everywhere, uh, it's a really cool option. And because it's magnetic, uh, super easy to take on, take off. And when you don't need it, just pop it up on top. So a really nice feature. Uh, the other really nice thing about this is that integrated rear taillight. Uh, so I'll pop this off. So you simply click on the middle to activate it. it. Has a really nice uniform glow to it. it. Has three different modes. So you have a steady mode, a flash mode, as well as a uh, breath mode that uh, fades in and out. The other cool thing about this is you can actually, uh, if you pull the fit system out, this is actually pops off. So you apply pressure on the back. So you can see this comes off, it has a USB charging port here. And then with this off, you actually have a nice large hole here. Uh, they advertise this as a locking hole, so you can actually put your lock through this hole and then lock this to your uh, bike. So pretty nice feature. I think this locking hole is a little bit smaller than I expected though. You can definitely uh, leave the tail light in and simply use one of the other vent holes as an alternative, but really nice feature. And it also means you can really uh, take the taillight with you or not run it if you don't need it. To put it back on, you simply put the top in first, push down and it stays in place. The other thing is the winter kit on this is really cool. So it's quite plush, looks like leather, but likely fake leather. Uh, the inside has the fake fur, so really soft. And you have these nice cutouts here, so you can actually see it's transparent. A really nice feature, so you can still hear uh, instead of wearing like a beanie or something that'll prevent you, uh, that'll reduce your hearing. This actually lets you still hear, but uh, stay warm. To install these, they provide those Velcro stickers. Uh, you simply slide this in uh, underneath the uh, fit system. And then using the Velcro stickers, you just position this. Uh, use the Velcro stickers to hold them in place. And then you can see uh, once they're installed, they'll sit flush inside here and keep you warm. It has this little strap here. And what that's for is you simply run the straps there for extra uh, extra holding. So see now I you run the strap through here, it keeps it nice and tight against your head. So a really nice feature. Uh, also, this is a really cool additional foam piece they include with the winter kit. It's a little bit confusing when you first see this, but what it's designed to do is actually block out this front vent so you simply place it on the inside uh, and it'll sit flush and you can see it actually blocks out that front vent to keep you extra warm, especially on colder days or winter riding. Here's a little walk around of the helmet in an urban setting. As you can see, the styling on the helmet's pretty cool, especially with that integrated lens. It gives it a really sleek design. It has really sharp corners, so it really stands out. I do wish they had more colors than black. And the taillight itself is cool, but it's not very bright. So it's not visible in the daytime. I definitely recommend still running a secondary taillight. In terms of the optics of the panoramic lens, we're actually surprised they're quite clear. They don't offer any transition lenses or darker versions, but the clear lens, as long as you keep it clean, has really uh, nice optics. There is a bit of distortion near the top, so you do have to keep your eyes a level or pointing downward. But overall, I think uh, it's a very cool urban helmet that gives you a nice sleek look with a lot of cool features. So now let's do a comparison between the Laser Urbanize helmet and some other helmets on the market. What I've laid out here is the Laser Chameleon helmet. This is their kind of do-it-all style helmet that can be used for road biking, commuting, or even mountain biking. We have our Urbanize helmet here. And then we have the Koro Smart helmet. This is a commuter helmet that has a lot of cool features like phone integration, as well as a uh, crash sensor. So first let's start out with the a more traditional road helmet versus the commuter Urbanize. Now you might be confused why are there so many different categories when it comes to helmets. I think the big difference is when you're a commuter, you're typically not riding for quite as long as a road biker, so you don't need all the vents. With a road biking helmet, uh, ventilation is really important to stay uh, cool, especially when you're doing long climbs or multi-hour rides. Uh, when you're commuting, you're typically starting out quite, quite cold and your rides don't really extend that long, so you're typically cold during the ride. So the big difference is, is the lack of vents. So you have less vents, 
And then the form factor as well. Uh, typically with the commuter helmet, you can see how the back extends quite a bit further down versus a traditional road bike helmet. So it's pretty interesting. I think the, uh, I actually use this uh, chameleon helmet daily. I really like that helmet. It's a little bit lighter for road biking and uh, the venting definitely works well. Now comparing commuter helmet to commuter helmet, this is a pretty interesting comparison. This is the Koros uh, Safe Sound helmet that we actually already reviewed here. You can see form factor wise, quite similar. So most of these uh, commuter style helmets will have this form factor. So you have a sharp ear cut out and then a larger back portion that extends further downward. Again, minimal venting with both of these helmets. These are smaller, but a little more abundant. They both have an integrated taillight. And what's cool about this is the Koros is $50 more, but it actually has cell phone integration. So there's a built-in mic on this. It'll let you take calls, listen to music uh, with these built-in speakers on the side. It has a similar ratcheting fit system. However, it's not MIPS enabled, so that's really nice at $150 to have all these features, including uh, this little magnetic uh, panoramic lens. Uh, it's quite cool to see from laser. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the laser urbanized helmet. I really like the fact that it comes with MIPS integration. Definitely a nice safety feature to have that uh, reduces the chance of injury. I also really like the included winter kit for cold weather. It's really nice that they include so many parts with the ear covers and the vent cover. So you're definitely stay warm in colder weather. Also the panoramic uh, magnetic lens is a nice feature. It's easily detachable. It can also be in that uh, flipped in the retracted mode. So definitely something nice to have, whether you ride in colder weather or you just don't want to wear sunglasses all the time. Some of the cons with the helmet are the straps. They're a little bit stiff. I found when I was riding them, I really felt them against uh, my head. So I think a little bit softer material might help. Also, the taillight lacks a battery status indicator. Although it does have really high runtime, uh, you're not going to know when it dies. So something you just have to be aware of and keep charging it at least once a week or depending on how much you ride it. Also, laser doesn't include a storage bag for the lens or helmet. It would have been nice to have some cloth bag for the lens itself. So when you're not using it, it doesn't get scratched up. Taking everything into account, I would give the Urbanize helmet a 9.1 out of 10. I think they packed a lot of features into this helmet that makes it a great option whether you're commuting or have an e-bike. Between the panoramic lens, the taillight, the magnetic straps, I think there's a lot going on here for a pretty good price. Thanks for watching this review. If you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.